It's just so easy to move the ball against someone who spams cover four. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTube that actually gives you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. All right, so guys, I want to talk about um, a defense that is very, is commonly used online um, in regs in, and basically, mutt, in particular, mutt, especially when you got people that got high power teams. And people will just sit on this defense uh, pretty much the entire time. And it's the cover four show, uh, show two uh, is is a, a base defense that's very popular. So a lot of people of uh, 34 or odd will actually jump into this defense, cover four, drop show two, because uh, it's, 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 it's very good. It's very stout against the run. And it, it is also uh, a very good coverage defense. But this defense has a lot of holes in it. And um, what's cool about uh, what I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to show you ways that you can break down this defense uh, and actually get easy first downs and get easy yardage against your opponent. Now, most players are going to use her, the middle linebacker on this defense, and they're going to show you either press, they're going to go ahead and make kind of some kind of adjustments with this, but we're just going to run this stock just so you can understand how, a, how the concepts work. Now, one of the fastest things you could do is actually implement a halfback draw on the scheme because he's only rushing three, and there's an actual key to running this particular play or running a halfback draw against this type of coverage, and it's going to be basically reading how the center blocks. So let me go ahead and run this a couple times and show you how you can get uh, bigger runs with using a halfback draw. So a halfback draw is going to be primarily the primary play that you're going to go and use against your opponent with this particular play. Now, I'm playing against one of the better teams so this team is going to definitely get more block uh, get uh, little more block sheds uh, with this defense than uh, what I would run against uh, other teams but it, reading the center is going to kind of determine which way you're going to go uh, with your run so let's go ahead and take a look at this in this replay now what you want to do is you want to watch 65 who's the center and basically you're going to determine which way you're going to run with the ball where his butt turns to so uh, if he turns if white hair turns to left you're going to run right here. You're going to run through this gap right here, uh, off the off the left, uh, off the left of the center. And if he gives you the butt like that, you should be able to get a nice free run lane uh, and pick up about four or five yards with that. Uh, if if his butt turns off to the right, you want to run behind his butt, so you want to run down this lane. So you can see right now, if I was to run in this direction, even though I've got basically a couple different line linemen right here. This tackle is already in position to go ahead and, and, and reach out with his hand and grab me. You can do the halfback draw again. And you can see how he kind of cuts up. And there's an opportunity for me to pick up some pretty good yards. Now, you're not going to gash your opponent for big yards uh, with this particular play. This is just a play that you want to sprinkle into your scheme uh, to help you get, uh, you know, just keep him honest with the running uh, running game. And if he's actually pulling guys, if he doesn't have like a really stacked defensive line like the Broncos, uh, you're still going to be able to get some pretty good yards. So this is really about getting five or six yards at the most, a few yards just to go ahead and shorten things up. Now, uh, another key factor of this particular uh, uh, beating uh, – cover four is understanding how the the linemen the defensive linemen and the linebackers drop now there's a couple of routes that you can do with the running back that is going to manipulate zone coverages so uh, first and foremost uh, if your opponent is not playing hard flats uh, he's those uh, linebackers are going to drop off another route that you can actually attack your opponent with is just a little streak route and you see right there I picked up a good 10 yards the, the drawback uh, to this type of a route concept uh, is basically what's going to happen is that his user could be in the area to go and take this, this route away. But this is actually something that you can consider throwing into uh, your passing concepts against uh, cover, four, uh, cover four show two drop type of a defense. You can see I'm picking a 15 yards with a running back route, route um, and it's going to be very harassing. So uh, that's what's really cool about this concept with the running back. So if you got you got to have a running back that can catch, you can run with the ball. Uh, you can catch and tackle. Now, off to the right-hand side, I'm going to go ahead and show you a couple different plays. Verticals is a play that you can pretty much find in most books. Uh, it's it's a very common play. I'll show you pinch, uh, 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 bench pivot, and I'm also going to go show you spacing. And in particular, I like spacing is I like uh, that route by Robinson with a good complement of a wheel route. 
So let's go ahead and take a look at this play right here. Uh, what you want to do is you want to try to complement your running back route uh, with, uh, with the route to the outside. So because I've got a bunch route right here, that defender actually has to go ahead and play off to the right hand side. He has to play that flat defender on the back at the back end side. And you can see the coverage over the top with cover four. It has to play deep. So those are the man assignments. So you got this guy is actually going ahead and running inside. I got a flat right here, and this defender is actually not going to float up. He's going to float down. So if the guy plays hard flats or clawed flats, he's still going to have to come out to this guy. He can't play both defenders. And because of the way this route concept is set up with Gabriel, Gabriel's actually going to pull these middle defenders out of the way, and I've got I, I can pop this guy right here. So why is this important to understand this with the bunch set? If you pop your opponent with some route combinations on the back end side, I've got the running back that's wide open right over here. I've got a deep comeback route that I'm actually going to pop my opponent with. There's no way his user can be on this side of the field, on this half of the field, to stop this route or on this side of the field to stop this route and if you, you basically have to make his pick pick his poison on what route he wants to go with it's going to definitely open things up for you dramatically so that's what i do like about this particular play it's a good play to go and jump into so let's just go ahead and show you how we can we can um use those uh, use these plays in concert with each other so right here i'm just going to go drop drop it down to the running back pick up a good five yards I got the streak route uh, right here. I've also got this route, which I can go and get a nice, a nice completion for a few yards right there. All right, so the next play we're going to take a look at is going to be spacing, um, and I'm really not really concerned uh, about uh, about the route uh, off to, off to the right. I can actually go and hit this route right here. I prefer the other, you know, spacing, you can jump into that. It's going to open up for you. Uh, either he's going to have to defend the flat or not. But what I like about uh, this complement of routes is that uh, you've got that route by Robinson, which is, is basically it's an option route. You can see how it actually it's got real faded. It actually guy goes on a, on a, a fly route or it actually comes over to a post. Well, you can go ahead and hot route that to actually get really good depth. And if you complement it with another route underneath, what's going to happen is the defender actually has to play that route, and you can actually just wait for that route to just get opened up right there. So uh, a cool thing that you could do uh, with this is just do a little out route right here and watch the guy open up. And you can get a nice little completion with that. So let's just go and put a streak up there. And you can go ahead and complete that. It's just another area of the field. Now, um, verticals is probably one of the better plays in the game. And uh, what's cool about this is this is another play that you can go ahead and throw into your scheme. First and foremost, Burton's route against this is going to get wide open right uh, separation. So you can go ahead and jump into this route uh, pretty much very deliberately. So let's just go ahead and run that. Uh, Defender actually has to make a choice whether he's going to go and play the, uh, the wheel route on the outside. You can do a nice little pass lead on the inside. And this, this is not playing over the middle of the field, so that's going to give you a pretty good situation right there where you can actually go ahead and hit a guy for an easy completion right out of the middle. So let's just go ahead and see if we can get this again. So you know that wheel route is always going to get separation against uh, that, that um, outside uh, coverage by the tight end or by the uh, the, the uh, the guy. So another thing that you could do right here is actually go ahead and put yourself a compliment route. So if he actually floats up, I can go ahead and drop down and put myself uh, a nice little drag route on the back end side. So you keep attacking your opponent off, off to the right. Now, uh, another way that you can actually run this particular play uh, um, is to go and drag up Gabriel. And this is going to open up Miller on the back end side. So you've got the drag route and you can see Miller gets wide open on the back end side. So just got rid of that ball a little bit too fast against the stellar defense. Uh, so let's go ahead and try this one more time where we can actually go and hit Miller on the back end side. So right here, wait for the separation. Rack this puppy. I'm picking up a good 20 yards on that particular play. So this is going to keep get things a little bit closer in the middle of the field uh, where you're going to be running in, into uh, user land. But it's definitely going to open things up for you because uh, he's probably going to have to play some of those underneath routes a little bit closer. So that's where you can get a nice good completion. Now, bench pivot is another play that you can jump into against cover four. And Burton's route gets really crazy separation because that quick out 
uh, just doesn't play it correctly. So right there, you can see I'm picking up some pretty good yards. And if I just go ahead and jump, you know, throw uh, this play in conjunction with a, with with a, uh, you know with the running back route and the back end side, it's just going to make it very difficult for your opponent to stop all these routes. So I, I recommend going ahead, jumping into the bunch formation. Um, this is something I've, I've been labbing and I, I wanted to get this out to you guys against cover four spammers. I generally don't run bunch. I just, just I try to stay away from the meta offenses just because you can. I, I believe that you can win without having the, the, the offenses that a lot of the pros run. Uh, but this is a really good formation uh, to run against your opponent if he's running a lot of cover four. You got that halfback draw that you can jump into. If you get a nice little block, uh, pick up some pretty easy yards with that. Uh, and then you've got uh, verticals you can jump into, which is a very common play. And then you can use pretty much everything else. So once again, my subscribers, thank you for support, guys. I really appreciate it. Make sure you smash that like button if you're new to my channel. Once again, to my Patreons, thank you for support, guys. Until next time.